Hi guys and welcome. Uh, today we'll be talking about modeling real world data with polynomial functions. Okay. And basically just a really wonderful way to think about it is just to plot the points and this is just how you do it in statistics. Plot the data and see what is going on. Okay. If you plot the data and see what's going on you should be able to uh, discern what's going on. Okay, so the direction of the data direction changes will kind of tell you what kind of model to work with. So you could have zero changes. The data could be changed in direction once, twice, or three times. Okay. Okay, which regression to use depending on what, how much the data changes. Okay, so if it doesn't change at all, we go linear data is zero, quadratic is twice, or once, cubic is twice, and quartic is three times. Okay, so that's pretty much the, the when you plot the data and you look at it, you can plot it on Desmos, that's totally fine, but you are going to have to use a TI calculator. So please go use the TI uh, Inspire calculator at the beginning of this uh, unit, or use a TI 83 or 84 uh, type of calculator, just to, just to help out with it. But basically, here's what you're going to be doing, is you're going to make your list, two lists, and remember, you want to have the first list, L1, be equal to your, I think it's explanatory variable. And L2. Answer variable. Okay, so like for example, if you were comparing how many ice cream cones bought in a, how many ice cream cones bought versus temperature, the temperature would control the ice cream, uh, things, the ice cream bars. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you'd make your list. So this is first step. Okay, second step is pretty simple. Press stat and go to calc okay the calc option All right so then you're going to figure out which function fits best okay in other words you're going to look at this list over here to figure out which regression to use. So that's that one right there. All right? And then you press you press the second button. Then L1 then comma second button. Like literally you are typing in comma. Uh, then you press the second button again, then you press L2, and then you press enter. Okay, and this is only, you, you have your function here first. Okay, and when you do that, you should be able to get it. Okay, and it will give you the actual equation, and then if you want to graph it, you can also go to graph. And it will give you a rough... Uh, picture of what the graph should look like, but it will give you the equation, which is the most important thing. Okay? Now, you do have to make sure that your function is in the form of AX plus B, not not a plus bx otherwise you're going to make a mistake and screw it up 
You can just switch them if you simply did it, but just understand one, the constant comes first, the other one, the constant comes second. In statistics, you want to use this formula. In every other kind of math class, you want to use this formula. Okay? And that's pretty much it. It's pretty uh, lock and dry. The calculator does most of the work for you. Uh, and when you actually get it, when you actually get this equation, okay, you can make predictions about future amounts. You can make predictions only afterwards. And then once you got that, you should be good to go. Okay. Thank you very much. And that's how to model real-world data with polynomial functions. Okay. Thank you. Bye.